credibility as a cookie maker? I think Emily Bishop. Who? Uh, Emily Bishop. I was going to say you too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I both of them. times in the past two days and it will probably continue I'll probably continue as for the next however many days I'm sick because it just feels right whenever I'm sick I feel guilty. I think, well, as a result of my own actions, I'm a human. I get sick. There's days where I don't do as much work as other days. It's okay. Hustle culture and the idea that we're not worth anything unless we're being productive really screwed with me. It's always screwed with me. If anyone wants to look inside my mind these past few months, I have been extremely struggling with the idea that I don't have to do things for the male gaze. It's weird being who I am, the influencer that I am, preaching body positivity and self-love, and I don't really care about a man's opinion ever. But it's like there's this voice in the back of my head. Always. You could be prettier. You could dress a little bit more provocatively. Will he think I'm ugly if I post this? But why does it matter? I used to never question those thoughts and I would live through them. I would live, I would live, I would live those thoughts. But when you really question a lot of the actions that you do as a woman, all pretty much all women experience this. Even women who don't even like men. And I've seen a lot of women who actually come out of being straight because they realize they never really liked men. They just like the feeling and the attention that men would give them. Really does a number on your noggin up here if you really think about it. I'm not worried about other women judging me. It's the judgment from men. I got these vitamins like a month ago. Okay. And they're the normal ones that I usually get. I didn't realize they were all melted together. The whole, <laughs> so I just pick at it. And I could have taken it, I literally went, like I literally looked at the bottom when I was checking out and realized, oh my God, these are all melted together. I chose not to get a receipt. I chose to open it up in my car and just accept it.
One of them being, I feel like I can't take a bath unless I'm fully clean and unless my bathroom is fully clean. Like if the floor is dirty in my bathroom or if any part of my bathroom is dirty, I won't want to shower or take a bath. And this is really bad when I'm going through a depressive episode because I'll need to shower and I'll need to take a bath. But I won't do that if my bathroom's dirty, but I won't have any motivation to clean my bathroom. <laughs> you get where I'm going, right? Okay. Whenever I feel subpar, below par, I feel very below par, <laughs> let's be honest. I like to open PR because it makes me feel better and it feels like Christmas a little bit. Why I use a pen, I couldn't tell you. This is from the Tinkerbell collection from ColourPop. Literally, they outdo themselves every single time they send me these beautiful gifts. This is so cute. Ah! I don't know if you guys can see that. I literally don't even know if it's focusing. What the hell? Don't do that. <laughs> so cute. Oh, they have a green one. Oh my god, the pigment. See, I always get really excited when I get makeup, like, especially like this, like, around Halloween. It's not around Halloween because I have uh, infinite options now. Yeah, it's so creamy. Look at that. This is giving me very, like, vintage. Clap if you believe. Clap these cheeks. <laughs> Sorry, that was distasteful. And then Tinkerbell. So cute. I definitely um, should be doing other things like homework. Oh, great. I left my pen out and it got all over my comforter. Cool. What? I really want a dog. Don't tell him though. <laughs> what the? What was that? So basically, I'm looking for adoptable dogs in my area. Do I need, do I, should I get a dog? Probably not. I would probably get my ass kicked if I brought home a dog. You know when you really have to pee and you just can't? Like you physically just, <coughs> you don't want to move. I remember that episode of Euphoria when Rue was going through a really depressive state and her bladder burst because she couldn't go pee. She phys physically just couldn't get up. Now I'm not saying I'm in that bad of a mental state. But damn, is that relatable? Maybe I'm just lazy. <laughs> some takeout. Hello, why can't I open this? Oh. 
literally. Please, this is so good. This has been such like an honest, true day in my life. Like, I'm sick, okay? I don't feel like doing much. I haven't journaled, I haven't meditated, I haven't... I took my vitamins, I took my vitamins. We put so much pressure on, pressure on ourselves to wake up every single day and live it like it's a fucking movie. When we all know, it's not. It's like at max, like a B Netflix film. And that's okay, that's okay. Cause some days I really like those films. Some days those films are like, they hit the spot, you know? And then tomorrow we can carry on with our Timothy Chalamet feature presentation. Also, I've spent like $100 on DoorDash in the past two days. You know, it happens. My life is a movie. Ooh. My life is a movie. It's a Netflix original starring Addison Rae. No shade. No shade at all. Oh, this is so spicy. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. You know, I felt kind of shitty these past few days. I see a lot of people my age in relationships and just like finding a partner. I'm like, that's great. That's awesome. I know that's not what I need at this point in my life, but I kind of want it. But I know I shouldn't have it. And I know that I can't have it in my current situation. I've just never experienced healthy, real love. And that's what's kind of sad. And I know I'm only 22. But fuck, sometimes like, I would just like somebody to love me for me. For all my quirks and my big mouth and my thick thighs and my stupid jokes. Why is that so hard? I love me for me. I date the fuck out of me. And I always wonder, if I were to get in a relationship right now, would I lose myself again? Would I lose this perfectly confident, strong, independent woman and become a person that I don't even recognize? Because it seems to me like that's what's always happened. I'm so fine until someone comes along and they just, they do it for me. They creep in and they make me feel like I'm whole, but I was whole before them. I'm whole as a person. I don't need somebody else to fulfill me. Holy fuck, this is spicy. Of course, yeah. Young love is romantic, but it fucking sucks. Cause guess what? You either get married to that person or it's literally the worst heartbreak of your life. And what's marriage? You know, why do we need that? having another one of those moments where I have to pee, but I just really don't want to get up and go pee. Also, I feel like it's important that people sleep naked. I don't know. I just feel like it's good for one's mental health. And for your body. 
up. Money up. Good night.